Hello YouTube, and welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 5 on the PS5. We're gonna continue from where we left off right here, and if you guys enjoy this series, please do drop a like on it because it does help the series out a lot, and does help the algorithm as well. We also got this text message right here from Lamar. Stretch is getting out, homie. Um, Stretch. His bid's almost done, we go, uh, go and holla at you, dog. So that's Stretch is a character that we're going to, um, that we're going to see later on. You're a racist. What? what? You don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No. What are you talking about? Excuse like me. That. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh? Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in the so a law school. Huh? A lot of times, you can hear the NPCs having conversations. Um, financing? The financing, it seems like a shitty deal. Ah, because of the color of my skin, you think I am a scammer. No, no, no. skin color's got nothing to do with it. So yeah, Simeon is, um, uh, Simeon's a major scumbag, and, um, uh, he's pulling basically this interest- control. Get the car, okay? He's pulling interest rate scams on people. I'm also playing on performance, um, uh, what am I playing on right here? Let's see, um... Uh, performance RT. I think that's the, the best one to play on, right? Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but um, uh, we're going to be going over to Michael's house right now. And so basically, um, what people like Simeon do is they, you know, they tell you a lot about a car. They get you all excited for it. Um, they try to rush you through the paperwork. Um, you sign it without reading the fine print. There's extremely high interest rates that he knows people are not going to be able to pay it back. Oh, Simeon. Hey, did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was going to get that back to you, dog. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. It's kind of um, ironic how he calls Franklin a thief, which is he is pretty much a thief. But so basically what he does is he targets people that he knows are not going to be able to pay off the interest rates. And so he charges them a bunch of money for the interest rates. They make their first few interest rate payments, and then he takes the car. And then he basically finds the next person to, um, uh, to scam. So this is a real-life thing that does go on to a degree. Um, just whenever you're buying a car, you know, make sure you always read the fine print. Make sure you read reviews in the dealership. I know reviews aren't everything, but a lot, a lot of times there will be some reviews that will warn you about a potential scam at a car dealership. Okay, let's knock out the gardener here. Okay, so we gotta get in the house. I remember the first time that I played this, I, I was trying to figure out exactly how to get in the house. Yeah, so you, you can't get in through there. How you have to get in is you have to climb on this. That's just because you have a massive gamer, bitch! But, uh, repo men have, um, very dangerous jobs, um... So let me show you guys something. There is actually three fail cutscenes in this, um, depending on um, uh, what you do in the mission. They're not canon, but they are actually cutscenes you can get. So you can walk in on Jimmy right here. Holy fucking shit, bro! Dad! Dad, there's a dude! Dad, help! Dad! <laughs> so that's the um, uh, that's one fail that you can get with Jimmy. So let me show you the other the other two fails. Um,
The funniest one is though when you um uh when you go downstairs to the kitchen. That's Amanda's Michael's wife and she's cheating on him with a tennis coach. You're a real Yeah, the tennis coach is so racist. But um those are just um uh those are just some fail calls that you can you uh, fail cutscenes I should me? say that you can get. It's kind of a sucks cuz GTA 4 has like so many fail calls and cutscenes, but GTA 5 only has a few. GTA 4 has fail calls and cutscenes for almost every mission. That's one of the things I didn't like about GTA 5 is that it just didn't have those fail calls cuz like there was just so many of them in GTA 4. So this is the car. And if you notice, there's like um, a rug back there in the back of the car. And so I guess Michael had good instinct that he, um, uh, Michael had good instinct that uh, uh, somebody was going to come for the car. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. So let me show you guys something. There's actually a um a, a fail another fail cutscene that you That's can get in this mission. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Yeah, just keep driving, keep where, driving you're going. where you're going. Hey, right, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, hey. my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. So now, um, uh, you know, the canon thing is to just take Michael to the dealership. However, though, you can get a fail cutscene if you don't drive Michael to the dealership. If you actually just keep driving away from the dealership, there will actually be a fail cutscene. It's not canon, but, um, you know, it's something that I thought I'd show off on these, um, playthroughs. There's a few missions that have these cutscenes, these fail cutscenes, but there aren't too many of them. This don't look like the way to no credit alley to me. Shit, man, we're trafficking all this way is fast. Dumb move, kid. So that's the fail um, uh, cutscene that you get if you don't drive Michael to the dealership, but it, the, the, it doesn't really make much sense what he's doing there, um, uh, unless he's going to get to the driver's seat to get the car because he's just kidding out in the middle of nowhere. Um. He look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. So now we gotta ram through the dealership. Come on, kid. Well, you got your car back, what Simeon. What are you doing? Mr. Simeon, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker. See now, you've pissed me off. This is gonna be good. I, I just cannot stand Simeon. I think for 100%, you have to not get hit by him. Press circle to counter while dodging. I thought it was square, but... 
You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! <laughs> five grand a month. What a scam. Okay, so this thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. <laughs> yeah, Simeon definitely deserves that. Ah, he agreed to violencing I have his signatures. Yeah. Did he agree to have some funk break into my fucking house? I I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot. But you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Ugh. Don't make me have to come back here. So that's, um, uh, that's it for that mission. We probably didn't get, yeah, we got a checkpoint, so we get, um, uh, we didn't, um, uh, we didn't get the 100%, but that wasn't going for that either way. This is Michael's safe house. You can save vehicles by parking them in the garage. So when I think about it, I think that, um, Michael has the second largest player house in a GTA game. I'm trying to think right now. All the houses that you can, all the houses that at least have interiors that you can own in GTA games. And um, out of all of them, is it? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think Michael has the biggest house available. Unless you count Mad Dog's house um, uh, for CJ um, uh, as, you know, your house, that's really Mad Dog's house. But the, the GTA protagonist that has the largest house out of all the GTA games is Tommy Versetti in Vice City. But um, I think Michael, yeah, I'd say he has the second biggest house then. And I think about all the player housing. Okay, so now let's do Michael's first official mi mission. And also, I did a cosplay of Michael's suit. Tell me if you guys think I did a good job on this. I also have a lot more costumes that I'm gonna be wearing on this playthrough. I think a lot of people are gonna really like them. You're such a fucking dictator! Why the fuck not? He is not staying the night! Oh He's my a god! Bum. I, I don't, don't even know why you are with me! Oh wow, well, Michael, I guess, is wearing his shorts then and uh, pool outfit. <sighs> Oh no, please no copyright claims. What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you can rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, in today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? No, I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. It's 
not too far from here. Let's go. Alright, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Yeah, Jimmy, um... Wonder if you can just... Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad! Or... Shit! I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway! It's... It's been stolen! What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it! I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it, they just want to take it! I'm hiding in the head! You're insane! Alright, I'm coming! For my boat! Alrighty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Go to Pacific Bluffs, okay. So, uh, Jimmy's been trying to sell Michael's boat, um... This is that infamous mission that's in the trailer, um, for GK5, the first trailer. Hey, man, look, if I had kids, the I don't Michael think no parenting issues would arise over who had boat privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Huh, oh, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you... Hey, you gotta look out, dog. Ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? My boat! Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man! Yeah, well, we'll catch him! Jimmy was probably trying to sell the boat on craplist.net, um, uh, which is a parody off of Craigslist. We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the crawling in traffic party! You'll be fine. If anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old oh, way of doing things. This is the old way. I'm not up here for fun, man. Get these in. Oh, Whoa, what? <laughs> Why did he just jump? Um, okay, I, I, I didn't expect to fail a mission like that. I didn't think he was just going to jump. Like, I... Yeah, man, I... Fine. There, just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old way. Oh, fuck this. Okay, so now we got it. Um. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get rid of his ass. Get your ass out of here. Hey, there ain't room up there for the both of you. Uh, almost get gonna get him in a moment. Hands off of him. Oh, easy with those bricks. You're screwing with the wrong retiree! Knock it up, you thieving prick! I shoot this motherfucker! Yeah, this is just a really risky shot to do. I just know you're trying to kill me, man! Got him. Now, there's two failed cutscenes in this mission as well. I'll show you guys them. Alright, now look for my son! Dad? Wait, you're the guy from the dealership! Yeah, and it's a long story, bro! Jimmy! Kid, watch out for the boom! Fuck! Hold on! Dad! Help! 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 Ah! Too close! Ah! 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 Damn, how'd this guy not... So now, this is how you get the fail cutscene. So now let me show you guys the first fail cutscene that you can get. If you don't save Franklin and um uh, and Jimmy, you get this fail cutscene. Now um uh, th this is not canon, but I just thought I'd just show people it. So this is the fail cutscene. Michael 
Michael didn't save everyone in time. So now this is the um, this is the other one, the other cutscene that you can get. Um, I'm gonna show you guys in a moment. But to get the other failed cutscene, you have to save Jimmy first. Don't dad me, you little shit. You better hope she's still seaworthy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck, kid. Whoa, crap. Hey, New York, on the Find the area. Right behind you, only 12. I ain't jumping from here, man. Get close. So Franklin now wants to, um, uh, wants help getting off, but if you don't... If you don't save Franklin in time, then uh, you'll get the second fail cutscene. Right I can't do this. Come on. Right behind. I'm getting away. Fuck. Ah, Dad, don't be all butthurt. At least you got me out of there. You listen to me, you little shit. That kid just jumped off the hood of a moving car to save your ass, and now he's gone. And so's my boat. <laughs> So this is the this, this is the other fail cutscene that you can get if you don't if you save Jimmy but you don't save Franklin. And the thing is though is that is that um some so, very few missions have cutscenes like this, but it's it's in the um uh it's in the early missions that I've noticed. And so I think Rockstar is planning on having probably a lot more of these fail cutscenes, but I guess they just decided to give up on it. Um Hey, get right up the back of that thing. Right behind you, homie. Come on. Remind me not to come to you for carrying it and fight. All the fucking board? Let's stop this ship from sailing. Can you, like, let me out of the car, like, now? Ooh, now that doesn't sound good. Hey, oh, wow, the boat disappeared. We ain't chasing shit in this thing. Hold it together. Ah, my fucking boat. Hey. It's just a thing. At least you still got a son. Hey, it's a chop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fixed. Yeah, this is the Los Santos Customs that's near the airport. Um, but um, the boat, you never find out what happened to the boat. So that was a bit disappointing. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie, that was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died, and all you give a shit about is this fucking boat! No, it's not that, it's... All we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or, it's not, but it's partly your fault. I... I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Frank, would you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Oh, great. Leave me with the home invader. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after me. All right, take what's in my pocket. A couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got Oh, I didn't know that was gonna end the conversation right there. I'm sorry about that. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man, and drop it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? So, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man, let's trick this whip, homie. So this is how they introduce you to the car customization in um, GTA 5. Get Amanda's car repaired, okay? Let's do that. Trick this whip or what? Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. Like it never Recondition. Happened. Sweet. Uh, Put some roids in its bloodstream. Juice it. Oh, not enough for the engine. When mom sees a new paint job, she's gonna flip. Take it easy. 
Okay, there we go. You gonna do this thing? Oh, we got to bounce. All right, man, I'm taking you home. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. Or the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James? Jimmy. Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Yeah, Franklin huh? doesn't want to call him you that. That's cringe. I see you at the dealership. Then someone steals my whip, and Pop is all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, that's Jimmy well, being ungrateful. Together, you know, like maybe we can get shit done. We couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost you your job. It's hard out there. Huh. Not the car. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? Nah, not since the first couple. Okay. So yeah, um, uh, Jimmy was a bit, I think, inspired by Anthony Soprano, um, AJ Soprano in The Sopranos, Yo, Tony's Spoiled so, like, Son. Since we're both um, unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just, like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but, uh... Hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. That's not really a, a nice thing to say about your mother. No, quick catch. Yeah, we took our time with that because we wanted to see the fail calls. Yo, uh, F-Dog, I've added you on Life Invader. Accept my, uh, uh, my request and we can hang. Hit me up anytime or anytime and we, and we go and chop it. Peace, uh, Jizzy. That is, um, Life Invader is a parody off of, um, uh, a parody off of Facebook. So you also get an email from uh, Tanisha, who later becomes Franklin's wife, as we know in the contract DLC. F, I don't know why I'm writing to you, but trust me, it's not because see, I uh, secretly I want to get back together. I don't. Not now, not ever. You are who you are, and that is that. I waited and I waited, and nothing changed, and now I'm seeing someone else, and I'm, I'm finally happy. After all that, I went through my brother's passing. I know that life you, you um, live ain't for me. I always knew that. I ain't got the strength. I don't want it. I want something else, and that ain't money, but I guess I'm, I'm, uh, I guess what I'm saying is goodbye. You'll always be my friend. You know that, but, uh, that's it. T, Tanisha, and you can respond. Uh, T, don't say that. You do your thing right now, but wait for me. We met for each other. Uh, you know that, love, Franklin. I remember in GTA 4, there was a response that you could either write positive or negative things in the response, but GTA 5 apparently just has one option, if I remember correctly. Um, haven't looked at the emails in some time in this game. I'm leaving. Remember to tip. Yeah, they'll get what they earned. Like the bank robber would know anything about a hard day's work. This is Michael's email, Dr. Friedlander. Dear Michael, very good seeing you yesterday. I want to stress how important it is that we continue therapy. We are on the point of a major breakthrough in your treatment. It's a fascinating progress uh, process. When it seems pointless and exploitative is when therapy works the most. But Dr. Friedlander is also a scammer. Life isn't meaningless. You're deeply troubled, um, but together we can make you a functioning member of society. I recommend you keep taking the medication. Um, continue to read the books I gave you. 
and really try to understand what is causing these temper outbursts. We'll crack you yet, amigo. We're in this together. As you know, I really enjoy working together. You're a fascinating man, Michael, but I'm afraid medicine in this country is not a charity. And with that in mind, I'm afraid I'm going to put my rates up again only by 75%. Only by 75%. Look look how he writes. He's all friendly in the beginning of the email, and then Tal tells him how he's going to, like, increase the price. Only by 75%, which I think is very reasonable, given the stresses and strains of my, uh, uh of, of my work. Yours, Isaiah Friedlander. Response, Doc, I don't know. I feel this crap ain't working for me, and I'm just crazy. I don't feel like myself. One moment I'm calm, next I'm crazy. I just don't know what to do. You, uh, your rates again? Wow. Okay, that's how he replied. Get this scumbag! Dear Michael, keep practicing those breathing exercises and stop looking for people to blame. Come see me soon. Yours, Isaiah Friedlander. Oh, what do we got here? Hey, look, man. Look! You were like a son to me. Employee of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? Man, the dude had a gun in my head. No loyalty. No integrity. You should have taken the bullet. My business, my totally legitimate business. You're fucked, my boy. Fucked. My totally legitimate business. My legitimate business, yeah, just constantly scamming people with high interest rates and taking back the cars. That's such a legitimate business. So now I completely forgot about this, but a Tanya, she, she's a random encounter that you can have in GTA 5, but you actually need to complete her random encounter to progress through the main story. Or at least the first one. What the one. fuck is wrong with you, Tanya? Ain't nothing wrong with me, nigga. Shit. Well, your ass don't look too good. Where the fuck is JB? Smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, sure you quit. Yeah, whatever. JB, look, JB gonna lose everything. He gonna lose the house. You know what I'm saying? The business, everything. And you his cousin, nigga. You said you was gonna he help. He ain't my cousin. Whatever, if that's how you feel. What the fuck do I know about towing cars? Look, it's easy. If JB can do it, you can do it for fuck's sake. Come on, I'm gonna show you. Come on, shit. All right, then. Shit. Shit, this been everything. Hey, look, let's make this quick. I got shit to do. Nigga, you need to slow let's it down. Tanisha was right. So JB is a, um, um, a JB I don't think is Franklin's actual cousin. He's just a guy that's from the neighborhood that Franklin knew, um, uh, growing up. And, um, he's a tow truck driver, but he's addicted to crack, and so right. he's- Shit, where we go? Trucks at the Davis Sheriff Impound. Oh, man, how did I get dragged into this? We both know you always been sweet on me. <laughs> Shit, Franklin Clinton. Shit, your ass must be high or something. I told you, I don't do that shit no more. I mean, I baby doze now and again just for the taste. But I'm doing good, boo. Your eyes don't lie. Whatever you say, girl. Come on. At least I think he's addicted to crack, but correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's crack that he was, um, uh, that he was smoking. But, um, we go right here we, to the tow truck yard and we get the, um... Here's JB's truck. Let's go bring the cha-ching, homie. Yeah, but Tanya is a really annoying character because she constantly basically has Franklin help her out with just these dumb repos. And JB never comes out to help. Vehicle 29, come in. This is dispatch. We got an abandoned car at San Andreas Avenue. Yo, we on that like ugly on your mama. 10-9, come again? I didn't catch that. It's Tanya, fool, and my boy Franklin. We filling in for JB. Uh, copy that. Uh, hi, Tanya. Car's a junker. Been there for days. 10-7. Oh, God. A bucket. This one should be easy. Shit, not easy enough for JB to drag his ass out of whatever crack house he laying in. His yes, I was right. Yo, game, sugar. Except I ain't gaining shit, sugar. Move that seat back, and you know I'll make it right for you. That ain't what I'm saying. Damn, Tanya. What the fuck? What the fuck happened to you? This is what crack does to people. That's whack. Once people start smoking, they're, they are like completely gone. Okay, they become a completely different person. Times. Back up close. 
Make sure the hook is down and it should slide right in. Hey, baby, back it up nice and steady. Okay, we are in, baby. Let's get this back to the lot. Hey, this was not how I saw my day going. Oh, hell. Okay, here we go. We're going to the impound lot. Let's do so it. I ain't seen you around the hood much. I've been trying to branch out. Can't stay in Chamberlain Hills forever. Oh, nigga got airs now. I remember you before you was a wannabe when you just was. And I remember you and JB before y'all was dope here. Shit changes. You the one all turfed up. JB smoking, but he ain't smoking homies. He out here grinding, towing cars, paying bills. For real? Because I could have sworn it was me out here towing cars for him. And looking damn fine doing it too, baby. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot more of these Tanya missions that are going to be coming up. Okay, we make the drop where they got the areas marked. They get real finicky when we don't leave it in the right place. I'll see you on the block. Anything you need, you holler at me. Now, where is that fool? Okay, oh, we got 100% on that. Yeah, but that is, um, uh, that is the first random encounter with Tanya, so I guess we'll leave it off here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series, oh, and I'll so see you guys on the next one. Up. Take care, and everyone. Franklin do that job for you. Oh, wait. Franklin Clinton? Who do you think, JB? What job? Yo job, you cracked out, fool. You can barely work a fart out your ass right now. Oh, no. Don't you try to sweet talk me. Damn right. Too fine for you, that's for sure. Aight. But you best save me a taste. You still sniffing around? You like a dog in heat. So you see, um, uh, Tanya didn't really quit. So, um, oh, Franklin, uh, Lam Lamar said he's giving, uh, Franklin the bike. Whoa, 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 what, what is this about? Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I guess a bunch of Vagos are pissed at me. Um, so I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Hey.